Right now, new improvements are in the works as the city of Far will make some major changes to the Far Reynosa International Bridge. CBS 4's Imelda Mejia is live from the bridge with details about those changes. Imelda. Marcy, Eddie, this is what the Far International Bridge looks like right now, but changes are soon coming, which will add more lanes and improved storage facilities, which will change the way the Far International Bridge looks like in the future. The Department of Homeland Security approved a new donations acceptance program it allows donations from private companies and government entities to donate money for improvements done to port of entry construction and maintenance. Under the program, the city of FAR will pay for several infrastructure projects to improve the FAR port of entry. Three projects will take place and are expected to be completed within a five-year span. The proposal includes the expansion of a secondary inspection dock space, construction of a new cold inspection facility, and construction of a new agricultural inspection training and development facility. The city also was approved to add additional north and southbound lanes to the bridge. The projects won't interfere with the flow of traffic and instead, once complete, will greatly improve the amount of border crossings. Just alone, by adding the entry lanes and the exit lanes, which is our first round of projects, just by that, we'll double the capacity on the bridge. With these other projects, there's no telling where it can go from there. We can even triple the size of, of this port. If they made two or three more lanes, obviously traffic would flow quicker. Because the way it is right now, when there is no line, it takes about two and a half hours to cross. FAR officials say the city will be using border infrastructure funds or grants to pay for the, for the construction that they will donate to the federal government. The addition of the lanes will cost the city approximately six, six to seven million dollars. The next step is for the city to go through, the, through phase one, which is the planning and development phase of these projects. That should occur in October, but hopefully construction starting within the later next year. Live from the Far International Bridge, Emilda Mejia, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com.